A new teleprompter app with remote control has just been released and it's called Prompt Plus. It's designed to be used with iPad, iPhone and Mac and it's super easy to use. This means you can put say your iPhone inside a teleprompter device then use your iPad or Mac to control all the settings and playback of the teleprompter app from where you're sitting across the room. This app is really just the simplest to use and it just works. Another great bonus about this app is you can use it as a Zoom teleprompter on Mac or iPad, but more on that later. The first thing you need to do is download Prompt Plus onto both devices. And this is what the app looks like here in the App Store. Next, we'll need to create a free account, or in my case, log back into my account on both devices. With this app, anytime you make a change on one device, whether that be to a script or a setting, it automatically syncs to the other device. That means we can pop my iPhone into the teleprompter device right now. And I have the Padcaster V2 device here, which I've done a review video on right here, so check that one out. It's certainly the best value and most easy to use teleprompter device going around. Check out the link below for the best price for it. Now let's set it up. Now on your iPhone, tap settings, then tap the help icon, then tap remote control. You will then be prompted to choose which mode you want and you have the choice of remote control mode or display mode. Because I'll be using the iPhone inside the teleprompter device, I want to select display mode here. A message pops up waiting for connection. Then repeat those steps on the iPad. Settings, help, remote control, but this time when the prompt comes up, select remote control. It will then ask you which device to connect to. So you should see your iPhone pop up here. Back on your iPhone, you'll get a prompt that iPad wants to connect to it. So I'll accept that. And bang, we're connected. I now don't need to touch the iPhone again. To see a quick demo of how to use the controls of this teleprompter app, check out the video right here. I also demonstrate how to create and import scripts. I'll go ahead now and open up a script from the iPad. So let's choose, say, uh, this one here and open it up. And it will pop up on the iPhone as well. I can toggle the mirror mode by going to settings and then going either on or off. Let's select on here. As I swipe to review the script on the iPad, you can see that the position of the script is exactly reflected on the iPhone in real time. There are other teleprompter apps out there that haven't quite managed to do this yet and it's easy to get lost in where your script is while using the remote control feature. So well done to the Prompt Plus developers for getting this right. If I want to change the font size or text width for better readability, I can do that on the fly as well. So when I hit play here, I can then change the speed of the scrolling and it also reflects on the iPhone in real time. Let's read through this one while using the remote control to fine tune the speed. Clicking the like button below tells the YouTube algorithm that you thought this video was helpful and that others can benefit from it too. Also by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell, it helps me grow my channel and get more helpful videos to you. By the way, if you want to make your own software video tutorials, I've linked in the description below the eight pieces of equipment that allow me to produce these. I mentioned earlier about how you can use this app as a Zoom teleprompter. You don't need a teleprompter device to do this either. You can run the app directly on your Mac while in a Zoom meeting on your Mac. But watch this video next where I show you how to deliver a presentation in a Zoom meeting on your iPad whilst using this very same app. That's right, a native Zoom teleprompter app on your iPad. Cool, hey? You'll be impressed.